I have with me Tanya uh, Sachdev who played today one of the most talented Italian youngsters uh, Francisco Rambaldi. Uh, Tanya, how was your game today with him and what was the result? I drew today but I think it was a very interesting game. Um, it was a very complicated game all throughout the opening. It was an English opening and I don't think he got much out of the opening but the middle game got really complicated and uh, we both were trying at some point. Um, in the time scramble, I think we exchanged a lot of pawns and pieces, but it was still really interesting. And at the end, I think it was a fair result because there was nothing to be done, even though I tried for a bit, but, uh, but there was nothing more to be done. So you are still unbeaten in this event? <laughs> yes, I am. But I've had like five draws, <laughs> five or six draws, so uh, it's been a bit so solid much for me. Yeah, but all the draws, almost majority were against higher rated players, right? Yeah, I'm not unhappy, especially considering how I played in the National A right before this. So, it's, uh, I'm not unhappy with my games. There were some chances that I missed, um, some chances my opponent missed. Uh, that's how chess goes. But yeah, uh, I'm, I mean, it's been fine to know. So, uh, so your performance at National A was really uh, bad, awful, <laughs> awful. Uh, and here you are doing very well. So, what exactly did you do in between these days? Uh, uh, to be these really days? honest, I think in National A, I was uh, I played badly, but also there was uh, I fell sick in the middle, and also there was uh, uh, there was some stuff going on back home, which so my mind was kind of all over the place. But that's not really an excuse. I was also playing out of form. Um, so I, I think I was not focusing on my games, I was very very distracted with a lot of other things and it showed in my result clearly, uh, it was uh, probably one of my worst tournaments ever. And then I came back home and I just sort of you know got everything together and um, I was feeling better, I came to this tournament, I knew that National League could not be my last tournament for the year, I had to play something else before. Uh, you can't end the end the year like that. Uh, nothing, and then I just came and I kind of like playing here. London's a nice city, and I think uh, when you're feeling well, you play better. So yeah, that's it. So is London your last tournament for the year? Uh, I hope to make it for Qatar Masters. Ah, okay. So you're playing <laughs> Qatar. So you are a player at Qatar, and then at Gibraltar, you will be the commentator, right? I'm doing the whole. I'm hosting the day's play show again. Yes, in Gibraltar. Wonderful. So how do you manage? I mean, uh, chess player. Sometimes commentator, sometimes uh, let's say the host of a show. Uh, you have a lot, your hands in a lot of uh, hats right now. It's yeah? actually true, and I think uh, which is why a lot of times uh, uh, I've noticed that if I haven't trained enough or if I've been doing too many other things, my tournament play really suffers. It's really hard to be a professional player and do a lot of other things. Um, definitely, I think I need to. It's, uh, I don't know if there's a thing like balance that exists. Maybe you just have to choose one and do it. I'm realizing that more and more. But the thing is, like for me, I really enjoy doing all these things. So, um, yeah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, so as of now, you are doing everything. everything so, we let you go now and have a great round tomorrow. Thanks the a lot, Sagar.